Hey guys, so welcome to my YouTube channel. I, this is my first video and I'll probably try to post like once a week. If you want to hear more about different opportunities, please remember to subscribe and follow below. If you kind of want to hear more about different opportunities, films I make, different things that you can do, just kind of advice like surrounding school and just balance and different things and different programs. So this video is going to be the top three high school summer programs that you can apply. Okay, so one important thing to keep in mind is that when you're looking at summer programs and kind of researching what's best for you, you it is important to kind of keep in mind that the ones that are free might mean that they are more selective and more competitive and they may help you stand out a little bit more especially when you're looking in terms of like college application a lot of these high school summer programs are also paid and so when they are paid a lot of them can be ranging from thousands of dollars so it kind of opens the door to those who can not afford them so that's just something important to keep in mind because you kind of want to think of what you want to get out of doing these summer programs and just kind of what do you want to get out of your summer when you're looking at the paid summer programs you do get a lot of benefits from it in terms of like you get to make, make connections kind of network a little bit and you also get to meet amazing like like-minded people that you know you can still stay in contact with months years after the program and i think that's something really important because like, it just kind of like expands your whole perspective on the world and there's just a lot of different benefits that you do have to keep in mind of course there are also summer programs that are paid that offer college credit other ones that are paid are just for you to explore to kind of dive into different interest areas topics but also meet new people and maybe like live on like the whole like college campus experience with that being said, we're going to move on to our first summer program. This one's free. This one's also really highly competitive. It's also one of the most like known summer programs has been said to help you stand out in your application process. So the first one is the Telluride Association Summer Seminar. It's T-A-S-S. -S. Before it was known as TASP, T-A-S-P. And basically the name change also added another area of study. So this is a six-week intensive summer program that you have two areas of studies that they offer for you if you are studies one is the critical black studies which is kind of focusing on history politics um, and kind of cultural contributions from people of african descent and then the other one is the anti-oppressive studies and it's just kind of seeing how the like supremacy patriarchy oppression kind of influenced and transform society so those are the two areas of study books tuition um any sort of fees all of that is covered by the program if you are admitted the task program was said to have an admission rate of like less than five percent so this is very highly competitive but if you do get in that is an amazing way to stand out okay so the next summer program is also highly competitive it's open for STEM students and it's also completely free if you're admitted. The goal of the whole program is to kind of give opportunities to underrepresented students in 11th grade when we're talking about Mike's semester and Mike's summer. Every student from any background is welcome to apply, but the Mike's semester program is done virtually, is done remotely. It's June to December. Just offered a variety of courses, public speakers, connections, support in the college admission process. I know there's mock interviews in August and December for my semester, and there's just a lot of like connections, resources, courses, and you apply in the fall semester of your junior year. The MITES summer program is a little bit different because that's only in the summer. It's six weeks. You are in the MIT campus and it's for rising high school seniors. So you apply in your in the fall of your junior year. And again, this one is to give opportunities to underrepresented students, but anyone else is welcome to apply. It has an application process of three letter recommendations, a couple essays, some more information about yourself. You aim at like a holistic view of you. Something unique about the Might Summer program is though at the end, they do give every single person who attended a letter of evaluation of how you did, what where were your strengths, and they encourage students to use that in their supplemental um, areas of when they are applying to college. And so it's just kind of like a letter of recommendation kind of thing that they give to everyone. And it's very like specific to you. And I think that that's a very big benefit from the Summer Mites program as well. The last high school summer program that I'm going to show you guys is the Hugo Bryant Leadership Program. So Hobie has different statewide leadership seminars hosted at a local college and sophomores are invited to apply usually a school can send up to two 
representatives to go to this leadership seminar. Sometimes the school pays representatives to go. I'm pretty sure the cost is like around $200 um, because if not, the student then pays. The way we did it at my school is that you applied through my school and my school paid in full tuition for one representative to attend. But then the other representative had to pay on their own, but they were welcome to go and represent the school if they were also chosen as like second place. One of the main things about Hobie that is really, really cool is that it has such a huge alumni network. So oftentimes after the, these leadership seminars, you remain connected with the people that you went there. And I actually went, it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. You kind of go in there not knowing anyone. Also the people who attend, they're from schools that are like at an hour away. And those are like most of the schools that went there. So by the end of the that program, you leave there feeling like you've known all the people there forever. So it it really is one of the one of the most unique experiences you'll ever have. And I think the biggest takeaway from it that you can get is just that network, that connection with people. Um, you have guest speakers coming in every day. You have guest panels. You can ask them questions. You can meet all these like-minded people. And I think that that's really the main part of the program. They also have that once you've graduated from that leadership seminar you're the fall of your junior year you can apply for the world leadership congress which is also part of hobie that you can attend as your rising senior you can attend the world leadership congress because a requirement for that is to have attended a hobie leadership seminar as a sophomore the world leadership congress program is paid however i believe the cost is somewhere between like a thousand five hundred dollars um and it's hosted in one location across the united states so you'll have students from every single state attending and you also have some international students. The connections that you make, the things that you learn from there, the guest speakers, you learn from experiences, you get exposed to so many different perspectives. Like that is just one of the biggest takeaways that you can get from these summer programs. And I think the most important thing to go into is knowing what you want to get out of during your summer. If the, if you don't end up going to one of these summer programs, whether that be because you might not be able to afford it or because you don't get accepted, I think that there's so many other ways to kind of enrich your summer and prepare you for your future and for your application process when you kind of go into that when you're applying for college. So some of the other things that you can do is you can always focus on community service, volunteering in your community. You can create your own passion project, you know, based on research. You can create your own business. There's just, a, I think the main part of this is kind of focusing and on what you like, what you think is going to be important for your future and there's just so many opportunities that you can create for yourself as well so with that being said thank you so much for watching um please subscribe down below so you can keep watching some of my new videos this is my first one but thanks for watching guys